What's going on, guys? It's been it's been a long while. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been quite busy lately, but um, hopefully I'm back again. But you know, things happen. <laughs> so, okay, guys. So today I'm gonna make a my take on a beef stroganoff. So, hopefully you guys know what I'm doing. So first, I'm gonna get some beef broth. And your two cups and a quarter. Two and a quarter cups. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now stroganoff is a really popular thing, especially when you're in... It's the most popular thing when you're doing backpack camping. And every time my dad made a, every time my dad would always get the, the dry style stroganoff, and you know what? It's not that bad. And now I am full of broth. Okay, so I'm gonna do. Here is a different take. I got. I learned this from from another chef. Oh, and by the way, she's also a supermodel. Former supermodel, so so we're gonna do one and a half teaspoons of fish sauce. Oh, wow, well, that happened. <laughs> Give me a minute. Yeah, all, things happen. Nothing's perfect. One and a half teaspoon. real quick. Alright, now this is my take on it. Um, I'm going to put in a teaspoon of oyster sauce. Well, any day now. So sometimes these things take a while. Right now I'm heating uh, some hot water on the stove for the noodles. Now you can make your noodles if you want, but this time I just bought store bought egg noodles. Okay. I would just put a teaspoon of oyster sauce. Don't overpower it too much. Okay. That happened. Alright. To give it a little I put some sweet chili sauce in it. There you go. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's like a one drop. Yeah. Get that out of the way. Sorry. Wild harvest. Okay. So now I'm gonna whisk this. Well, the knife for now. Okay, so now I'm gonna put one fourth. Quarter cup of flour. I'm gonna get a whisk or spoon. Let's just down a bit. Well, everything happens. Right when I come back, things start to happen. Okay. Quarter cup of flour. Alright. Get most of the flour out. Okay. Let's get that down. It's a bit sunny. As you can see, and now I'm gonna stir it until the flour is gone. You want to stir it till all the flour is dissolved. Okay. Yeah, no one's perfect at these cooking videos. 
It's not like Food Network. Or HBO Max. Or Disney Plus. Everyone, every service, every network has a cooking thing now. I don't blame them. It's actually fun to make your own things and it's also fun to recreate them. Okay. Well, we got this down. I don't want to drop it. But you can barely see, unfortunately. Alright, up next. Earlier, I sliced up some ribeye steak. You want it thinly sliced, so I got some ribeye steak. Okay. I'm gonna put that in. That's far away from me. Okay. And then we do a tablespoon of soy sauce or gluten free soy sauce. Ooh. Normally I like regular soy sauce, but that is all we had. Alright. You do three cloves of minced garlic. So, basically I did the easy way and decided to use a jar. And sometimes the jar has the measurements on here, so... We got it. So basically, three teaspoons equals three cloves. I hope that's right. Otherwise, yeah, we're going to have a problem. All right, and half a teaspoon of pepper, so we can just sprinkle it. All right, and reuse the spoon again. Then, and then let's see. Look at that. So far, toss this. It's also easier if you want the butcher to slice the steak for you. You can do that if you want, but uh, I forgot, or maybe I wanted to challenge, but I'm pretty sure I just forgot. So, yeah. Alright. Okay, so now I'm gonna head back to this head to the stove and check out check on the water and start heating up a pan for the steak and we'll be right back <laughs> 